morning guys, it's a beautiful day out. Um, I'm heading to the gym. Today I'm gonna train my back, bicep and abs. I only train abs once a week because abs are formed in the kitchen. I mean everybody has abs but for most people they are covered by body fat. So if you, you dedicate to eat clean, your waist will naturally be smaller and your abs will be unveiled. So, so, so. First thing first, I'm doing some warm up. Today, I feel like elliptical machine. I did it for five minutes. Just make things clear here. For warm up, I just wanted to help increasing my blood flow to the working muscles, which results in decreased muscle stiffness, reduce the risk of injury, and improve performance during my later workout. It's not like a 20 or 30 minutes cardio session. For people who wanna lose fat, I suggest doing cardio for half an hour after strength training. Okay, moving to my first compound movement, assisted pull-up. My ultimate goal is being able to do several body weight pull-ups, but let's start with this assisted machine. The lighter weight you use, the harder it will be for you to pull up. First, I did it with white grips. Pull-ups primary target on your back muscles and secondary on your biceps. Different width of grips gives you slightly different ratio of back and bicep engagement. The white grip isolates your lats, taking away much of the emphasis from the biceps. The underhand alternative chain ups, which I'm doing now, receives the high price as both a bicep and back builder. 10 reps for two sets with each grip. Next, back extension. This movement primarily targets on your lower back and some glute and hamstrings. Position yourself onto a hyperextension bench so that the top of your hips are just over the pads and your feet are firmly pressed underneath the foot pads. The so weight is optional. If you don't use the weight, you can fold your arms across your chest and brace your core to keep your spine neutral. Really feel the squeeze on your lower back and glute muscles when your body is raising up. 10 reps with 3 sets. Next, cable row. Place your feet hip width apart with your hips and knees flexed. Brace your core to keep your torso upright. Keep your shoulders relaxed as your flex elbows past your sides until the bar almost touches the bottom of your chest. Really feel the pull from your back muscles and biceps. Do 10 reps with 3 sets. Next, dumbbell row. Place your right knee on top of the bench and right hand on the other side of the bench. Your torso should be parallel to the floor. Grasp the dumbbell with your left hand and pull it straight up to the side of your torso. Engage the muscles in your back and breathe out as you perform this step. Remember that you should feel the pull from your back and squeeze your back muscles at the top of the movement. Please do not just use arms to perform. 10 reps for each side with 3 sets. Next, bent over barbell row. Grab a hold the barbell with your palms facing towards your body and then extend your hips until the barbell reaches knee height. Maintain this position as you flex your elbows past your sides and touch the barbell just above the belly button. This movement trains primarily on your back and secondary on biceps and shoulders. Do 10 reps with 3 sets. Now let's do some abs exercise. This is leg rise. Rest your forearms on the arm pads. Make sure the arms are bent at an angle of 90 degrees. Lift your knees up by flexing your hips to about 90 degrees while keeping your torso stationary. Keep your movement controlled as you extend your hips back to starting position. Then here's the variation. I'm twisting my hips side to side. This movement incorporates my oblique muscles, which means the muscles on the side of your waist. For abs day, I'm making sure that my front and side abs are all trained. Okay, last one, plank. This is a great abs exercise you can literally do anywhere. Remain rigid throughout the body to maintain a straight alignment from your heels to your shoulders. I do it for about 1 minute, then start to twist my hips. This is a plank variation. I feel it gives me some burn on the sides of my waist. Then it's a side plank. It incorporates the oblique muscles. The elbow on the ground should be directly underneath your shoulder. Brace your core to make a straight alignment from your shoulders to your heels. And hold for an allotted time. At the end, I'm doing this to give a kick on my oblique muscles. Yeah, I'd like more challenge. And on the other side too. One plank with two side plank is one set. Do three sets total. I just finished workout. It was great. So why we train back? 
Well, if your back gets a little wider, it gives an illusion that your waist is smaller, which is so-called sexy hourglass shape. I hope you enjoyed my video. Until next time, bye.